Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Come on in the room. Come on in the room. Come in the room. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in this day. Good morning to all of you. Come on in the room. The Lord is great. He is greatly to be praised, greatly to be honored and adored. Good morning to all of you. Come on in the room. It is time for us to bless the Lord this morning. Time for us to bless him with the first fruit of our praise, the first fruit of our lips. Good morning to all of you. That's right. Come on in the room. It is time for us to bless the Lord this morning. Good morning to all of you. So come on in the room. Let us make sure that we greet one another as we come in. Greet me. Yes, let's plan to be a participator in the word of God. Good morning to you. Good morning, all of you that are coming in the room this morning. This morning, it seems like I'm not able to get any sound up um, um, outside of what well, hopefully that you all can hear me this morning. Hopefully you all can hear that the Lord is continuing to bless us, blessing us in everything that we set out to do this morning. We are uh, going to continue and going forth in the word of God because the word of God brings life. It brings light. It continues to sharpen us. Yes, the word of God, the Bible says, is good for correction. And yeah, we're good for rebuke, rebuke and good, good for teaching. Good morning to you, Sister Glenda. Sister Deborah, good morning to you. God bless all of you that are coming in the room this morning. Sister Donna, so good to see you this morning. God bless you. Sister Gloria, so good to see you this morning. I bless God for you. I bless God for your family, for all that you and your husband put your hands to do. I thank you for the ministry that God has given to you. And I know that this ministry that you have, it will flourish. Good morning to you, Sister Donna. I speak favor over the people of God this morning, over each and every one of you that not just that, that are watching, but those that shall watch later. But I speak favor in your households that God will continue to bring peace and comfort to each and every one of you. Good morning to you, Sister Nimby, Sister Linda. Good morning to you. God bless all of you that are joining this morning meditation. Good morning to you, Sister Miller. I speak healing in your households. I speak healing, yes, over your hands, that whatever is uh, in, in disarray, whatever is in disease, that is in your um, purview of your physical touch, your area that you can touch it. I speak healing over your hands that you yourself may lay hands on that thing and that thing may come back to life in the mighty name of Jesus. You have that power. You have that ability to do it. Don't think that you have to get to the man or the woman of God in order for God to be able to move through you because God has the ability to move through you. And why is that? Because you are men and women of God who have the power, my God, of God, that God has given to you. Good morning to you, Sister Sherry, Sister Linda. Good morning to you. I'm speaking the power of God over the people of God this morning right now, that God will be able to do some mighty and powerful, some uh, magnificent things through each and every one of you because you have the power, the Bible says, of death and life in your tongue. Yes, and you, as you have the power of death and life, you have the power to, to destroy some things that are trying, oh, come on here, somebody. You have the power to destroy some things that are trying to destroy you. And I know we have the power over the enemy, even though we think the enemy can that can can. He, he came to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But I thank God that God came to give us life. And because of that, you have the power to destroy some things that the Lord is trying to destroy in you. Yeah, he said, he said to Peter, he said, you have the keys to the kingdom. And yeah, because of that, glory to God, the gates of hell shall not prevail against the kingdom of God. And you have the ability, glory to God, you have the ability to speak life into situations that have been dead. You have the ability, glory to God, to speak life, oh yeah, into relationships that you think were dead. You have the ability to speak life life into jobs. You have the ability to speak life, glory to God, into, oh my God, you have the ability, my God, to speak life into your sons and daughters that you think at, oh yeah, maybe you thought that situation was going on in their life is beginning to kill and destroy them, but you have the ability to pull that addiction out of them, glory to God. I know, my God, that they have to have a will and a desire to do that, but why don't you just speak, my God, over them that God will send a man or a woman, my God, to water the seed that have already been planted in their life, glory to God, that that thing that has been dead in them will come alive and quicken their spirits, glory to God, and that seed of addiction that has been planted will be rooted up and plucked up out of their lives, glory to God. Oh, I speak healing over you right now in the mighty name of Jesus, that you will have the ability to do all that God has called for you to, to do in the mighty name of Jesus. Good morning to all of you, glory to God, that are joining this morning meditation. Glory, Brother Ambrose, good morning to you. God bless you, Sister Casey. God bless you, all oh, the people of God that are joining this morning. Sister Nora, good morning to you. I speak it over you right now. 
now. Yes, that you will use, my God, every gift, every ability, every talent, or everything that God has given to you, that you will use it in the body of Christ. That you will not allow that thing, glory to God, to go dormant in your life. That you will not, glory to God, to allow the enemy to trick you into thinking that you are no good, that you are worth less, glory to God, because you have been worth everything that God has called for you. My God, to do, God, you are worth it. You have been worth it so much that God sent his only, my God, and begotten son to die on the cross and all of us, each and every one of us, my God would be free. You, everyone, every last one of you would be free to do what it is that God has called. Glory to God for you to be do, do to be free. My God, you were created. You were wonderfully, the Bible says you were fearfully made in his image. And if we were wonderfully and we were fearfully made in his image, oh my God, I can imagine the heavenly host getting together and saying, let us come together and make man. Let us make man in his image. Why did they say that? Glory to God. They said it, my God, because they remembered, oh God, how they had the, uh, Satan, the chair, but how they, how they had created him and they created him beautifully. They created him so wonderfully. They created him and pride got in the way and there was a downfall. And, oh my God, he got beside himself, but they said, let us now create man. Let us create him in our image. And then by God, let us give him dominion over the fish. Let us give him dominion over the birds. Let us give him dominion over every creeping thing that falls on the face of the earth. Let us allow him to have power, my God, and ability, glory to God, to do, my God, what it is that we need to happen in the earth realm. Let us give them the ability, my God, man and woman to walk this earth. And let us give them the ability, my God, to speak and name the things, glory to God. Let us give them authority. People of God, you have authority over every creeping thing. You have authority even over the enemy, but use the authority that God has given you. My God, you have the same power, glory to God, that God used that raised Jesus from the dead. People, oh my God, if I was in church, I would tell you to touch somebody and just say, you've got power, glory to God. Oh, hallelujah, my God. Listen to me, people of God. Listen to me, people of God. My lesson this morning, my God, is about just being extra. But I hear the people of the, the, the Spirit of the Lord speaking this morning and letting us know, my God, that we don't use what it is that God has given to us. Oh, my God, let me just segue into that. We don't use what God has given to us and we think we need so much more. We think we need, we need to have so many different things around us. And I don't know, glory to God, if you know people like me, and, and I don't know if you know other people, my God, who try to be extra about everything. Ah, glory to God. I don't, I don't know if you know people like that, but glory to God. Now just let me know if you know people who are just extra. Extra meaning they got to have this and they got to have that. They, they got to have people around them. Glory to God. They got to have things in just in the right place. They got to have, oh my God, they got to have it all. They got to have Gucci and Uchi and they got to have Lucci and they got to have so many things that just got to be extra. They, oh my God, I don't know about it, but listen, I was, oh my God, I was working on something the other day, people of God, hallelujah. I was working on it the other day and how I'm trying to do some, uh, some different things. I'm trying to let the people of God have a little bit of snippets about what the Lord speaks to me, glory to God, since I'm not on every day and and I was working on something and I said to, to the young man that I'm help, uh, that's helping me with some social media things. And I said, I need to go into my studio. Glory to God. Oh, help me this morning, Jesus. How is everybody? Did I greet everybody this morning? I want to greet you. Good morning to you, Lady New, Sister Glenda. Good morning to you, niece Rachel. I wanted to greet everybody, but the Spirit of the Lord said something different. Oh, there was a prophetic word, my God, that went forth in the atmosphere. My God, there was a prophetic bursting, oh my God, that went forth in the atmosphere. And I want you all to know that the Lord has his hand on you. And because he has his hand on you, there is an assignment, people of God, uh, that he wants us to complete. Uh, and I was preparing to do a, um, a little broadcast. And I said to the young men that are working with me, they're 13, 14 year olds. And I said, I need to go into my studio and I need a scenery for the studio, for this, for this broadcast that I wanted to do. And so I go into the studio and I have the, the pillows and I have the, the stools and I have the background and I have the scenery 
that is all set, glory to God, for the broadcast that I wanted to do. And he did, I did the take number one, and I did take number two. And I said, let me see how that looks, being extra, people of God. Come on, let me know if you know somebody that's extra. And I said, let me see how it looks. And I looked at it, and I didn't like it. And, and my son was there with me, and he looked at it. He said, Mom, that looks okay. I, and I said, let me do it again. I want to do another take. And I, and I wanted to do another take, and just being extra. And I said, come in a little closer. I said to the young man who was taking the video with me, and I said, come in a little closer. I want to get a closer up look, you know, on my face because I want the words to come on the side, just being extra. And then I said, come in a little closer, a little closer. And after a while, after about the fifth or sixth or seventh take, my son said to me in this really, really in, in nice voice, he says, Mom, he says, you had us come into the studio. He said, you wanted the pictures on the wall. He said, you wanted the nice sofa. Come on in here, somebody. He said, you wanted all of this. He said, but then when we get down to this, you know, you, you said, that you said was only going to take us five minutes to do. He says, now, after we get to and we get to this last take, he said, there's actually nothing in the film with you. He says, he says, as a matter of fact, he said, you could have just went over there to that blank wall and we could have done this production. He says, why were you being so extra when all we wanted to do, glory to God, was just take the film of you by yourself. And I thought about that thing for a moment. I said, because you know what? <laughs> all I wanted to say was what the Lord said. And, and all I needed, my God, was a word from the Lord. I didn't need all of that extra stuff because I recognize when God is in it, glory to God, listen, when God is in it, he will, glory to God, take whatever it is that he needs and he will multiply what it is that I'm trying to do. Come on in here, somebody. When when we have God, people of God, God will multiply the thing that we have and, and then it will have the significant impact. Come on. When, when, when we do, when it's, when it's all about God. Now I know, listen, I thought about that thing for a while and, and there is a, a song, a song that talks about little becomes much glory to God when you place it in the master's hand. Now, we think about that thing. Come on and hear somebody. When we talk about little becomes much when it's placed in the master's hand. I said, I looked, I searched, I said, is that a scripture in the word of God? Because I always want to give you all, our glory to God, something that is scriptural, that has a scriptural reference to it. And I couldn't find nothing. But you know what? When I thought about that thing, the Lord took me, glory to God, to Matthew. It, looked to, it took me to Matthew where Jesus, glory to God, he multiplied the fish and the bread. It took me, my God, to the scripture, glory to God, in Luke, my God, where Jesus did, my God, he turned, my God, to the, the fish, my God, and the loaves of bread, my God, into food for the people. But the thing I liked about that particular passage of scripture, glory to God, is about being extra. What I found, if you all read that in Luke chapter 9, verses 10 through 17, when I got to verse number, glory to God, hallelujah, verse the number 12, and the Bible says in verse number 12 that when the day began to wear away, glory to God, and the 12 came and they said, to Jesus. They said, send the multitude away that they may go into the surrounding towns and country and lodge and get provisions. It says, for we are in a deserted place. Oh, glory to God. Listen, I can imagine Jesus was saying to the disciples, listen, disciples, come on. Now, now you know we've been walking and I, listen, I want to talk and y'all just being extra. Why in the world will we send 5,000 people somewhere out into the country to go find some food? Who, my God, do you think that I am? Do you know that I'm Jehovah Jireh? Do you know that I'm a provider? Why is it, people of God, do we go looking? everywhere else. Do we go off? Come on, look into the, my God. Oh, come on and hear somebody. Do we go to the check and go place? Why is it? Do we go to our family and our friends? Come on. Why do we see in, my God, other people all around the world when we know that God is a healer? Do we know that God is a provider? Do we know that God is a lawyer in the courtroom? Why do we go everywhere else? I can imagine Jesus saying, why disciples are you being so extra? 
But what he said to them in verse number 13 was, he said, you give them something to eat. Come on in here, somebody. I can imagine him saying, why don't you just sit the people down? I hear Tobias saying, why, mama, just sit down and say what the Lord said to you. Glory to God. Why don't you just do that? Stop being so extra. People of God, this morning, what I'm coming to tell you this morning is, is you just got to stop being so extra. Just sit down and allow God to work through you. Come on in here, somebody. God can take your little and he can turn it into much. I don't got to continue to talk about the scripture because you know what happened after that. Oh, they found the lad with the two fish and, and they found the five loaves of bread and they began to feed my God. And not only did they begin to feed, they had some left over. I'm speaking overflow to somebody this. Oh my God. I'm speaking overflow to somebody this morning because the little bitty fish and the five loaves of bread, they were able to feed. Oh, the Bible only talks about the men, but you know, there were women and there were children because the disciples began to get in alignment with the word of God. They began to get in alignment with the Lord. Come on in here, somebody. They aligned with the word. When we get into alignment with the word of God, not only will we have enough, not only will we be able to do enough, not only will our impact be great, but we will have an overflow. What is overflow, people of God? It's the abundance that the Lord talked about. It's the abundance that he talked about, glory to God, in John 10, 10, when he said, I came to give you life. I came to give you life more abundantly. What is the overflow? The overflow that he's talking about is transformation, people of God. When you begin, my God, to share with somebody else, oh my God, it's the overflow. Oh my God, I was talking with my granddaughter yesterday and we had some friends over. She had some friends over. Glory to God. And I was sharing with her, my God, if you are able to share, my God, with your friends, don't you know you get more stuff? Hallelujah. When you share with your friends, come on in here, somebody. Don't you know that God will give you more to share? He says, if you give, my God, he will give that to you. Oh, my God. Press down, shaken together, and running over. He says, will another man give into your bosom? When, my God, you are able to let God work situations out in your life, come on, he will transform you, oh God, yes, so that there is overflow in your life. Look at what happened in this passage of scripture. When they stopped being extra and started focusing on what God wanted them to do. People of God, I got to go right now to Sister Kena Hackworth. Sister Kena Hackworth said there's no lack. Why is there no lack? There's no lack because we get in alignment with the will of God. There is no lack because God provides your favor. There is no lack, my God, because of God's compassion, because of God's generosity. There is no lack, my God, because we trust God for his provision. There is no lack because we recognize uh, that we have to have a mindset uh, that is shifted toward abundance in the face of limitations. Uh, we've got to know that, my God, there is no lack uh, because God has everything that you need. Uh, we've got to recognize that the Bible says uh, we can't can't be anxious for nothing. We can't worry about who's got something. We can't worry about what we don't have. But the Bible says through prayer and supplication, the Lord will provide everything, absolutely everything that we need. We bless God this morning that we're not being extra anymore, but we're walking in the will of God and God will provide everything that we need. Not only everything, but he will provide an overflow. Father God, we thank you right now, God. We thank you for overflow. We thank you for increase. We thank you for abundance. We thank you, God, for multiplying what we have. And we thank you, God, for recognizing that whatever it is that we need, Lord God, we've already got it. We thank you, Lord God, for recognizing, for us recognizing, oh God, that what we need, God, for abundance, God, and for increase in our lives is in our house, God. So we thank you right now. For this word, God, that has been shared with the people of God, that they will never, ever forget it. Now, grant it to their hearts, oh God, that they may be a changed people, oh God. And then, Lord God, continue to bless us, oh God. Minister to us, God, even now, God, that we will see your face one day in Jesus' mighty name. My God, I pray right now for the sick among us. Pray, Lord God, that you give them a mindset, God, for healing. Pray, oh Lord God, that you, they recognize that there is a balm in Gilead. 
Lord, it is good for healing of a sin sick soul, not only for our physical bodies, O oh God, but we may be lifted in you in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray. Amen. We bless God. People of God, the Lord is good. He continues to good, be good, and He continues, my God, to be great in the mighty name of Jesus. People of God, I want to invite you out to Bible study at Kingdom Life Christian Cathedral on Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. We are doing something new and something different. That We are providing some practical tools and tips whereby you will be developed spiritually in the things of God. This week, we are talking about how to read your Bible, how to find the scriptures, how to search the scriptures in times of crisis. Next week, we'll be talking about spiritual warfare. Join us at 707 Sherman Avenue in the city of South Bend, Indiana, where we will teach you some spiritual tools about life. I'll be remiss if I didn't let you know that you could contribute to this ministry by giving through Givelify or through PayPal. And you may see the link on the broadcast. I love you all so much with the love of Jesus. I want to thank those of you that contribute consistently. And I pray God will continue to bless you with overflow in the name of Jesus. I love you all so much. Have a great day.